And new information now. The longtime suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway has been sentenced to 240 months in prison after pleading guilty to federal extortion charges. As part of the deal, the suspect also had to reveal new details about Holloway's disappearance. National correspondent Mara Sirianni is following these live updates for us. What can you tell us, Mara? Yeah, Jay, good morning. So that's 20 years that he'll have to serve in connection um, in the U.S. in connection with those federal extortion charges. That's in addition to a 28-year sentence that he's already serving for murder in Peru. Uh, we understand that as part of all of this, um, he also has to give up more um, information about the night that Natalie Holloway uh, disappeared to the FBI and also to Beth Holloway. Um, I want to show you, so we don't have a, a live photo, uh, live pictures, I should say, of that courthouse outside we know that there was a, a large media presence there um, and, and hopefully this information this 20-year sentence that Vandersloot uh, was just handed down by that judge there is some sort of justice for Natalie Holloway's family after um, 18 years so uh, let, let's talk about you know this, this federal extortion and money wiring charges in connection to a 2010 sting operation in which Vandersloot promised to give Beth Holloway information in exchange um, for money. Federal investigators tapped that transfer and determined the information that Vandersloot gave was false. Now he previously pleaded not guilty to the charges and while it's not clear what specific charges he he pled guilty to uh, this morning, Vandersloot again will have to reveal information about how Natalie died, how her body uh, was disposed of and perhaps even the location of her remains. Vandersloot again remains the prime suspect in Natalie's 2005 disappearance while she was on that senior trip to Aruba. An authority said she was last seen leaving a nightclub with him and two other men. The three men though were arrested in 2005 but were released due to insufficient um, evidence. Then in 2007 they were arrested again and charged in connection with Natalie's death but then a judge there in Aruba said that they're just wasn't enough evidence and dropped the charges. So this has been a really frustrating uh, past 18 years for uh, Natalie Holloway's family. And, and federal investigators say they, he, the money that he extorted from the Holloways apparently used it to travel to Peru. Like I mentioned, he's serving a sentence there where he confessed to brutally murdering this woman, 21-year-old Stephanie Flores, uh, just a few year, years after Natalie's uh, was, was you know, declared missing, uh, currently serving a 28-year sentence in Peru for that one. And before he can serve this 20 years that was just handed down, again, in connection with these federal extortion charges in the U.S., he will first have to return to Peru to finish out that murder sentence. Um, we are expected, though, to hear from Beth Holloway shortly. We know that Natalie would have turned 37 this Saturday, so uh, certainly, you know, it's been a long time coming. Hopefully, again, this provides some sort of justice to her family after 18 long years, Jay. Yeah, such a mystery. So much interest in this case. Yeah. Back, you know, it has been so much time since her disappearance. and a lot of people are wanting answers or some clarity uh, to know what happened to her. National correspondent Mara Sirianni in our Atlanta newsroom. Thank you, Mara.